Good morning and welcome to our morning prayer. Just as we begin this morning, we're going to take a moment as we come into God's presence. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, Lord God, creator of day and night. To you be praise and glory forever. As darkness falls, you renew your promise to reveal among us the light of your presence. By the light of Christ, your living word, dispel the darkness of our hearts that we may walk as children of light and sing your praise throughout the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. And so the night has passed and the day lies open before us. So now let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So last week I reminded you that God has a destiny for your life. Well, today I want to remind you that in God's eyes, you have found favour. Listen to those two things again as though you were hearing them for the first time and just revel in the awesomeness. Your God, creator, all-powerful, loving father, has a destiny for you and in God's eyes you have found favour. Seems a little premature to be speaking of Mary becoming pregnant but as we head into the New Testament with the Bible course we start at Luke 1 26 to 32. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. Again, words that are very familiar to us and we hear every year at Christmas. But you have found favour. In a sleepy little town up in the hills of Nazareth, a young woman was going about her daily tasks when the angel Gabriel appeared to her. I wonder what your reaction would be. Mary is noticeably startled and afraid. On top of that, he called her favoured one. Now, why would he say that? She didn't think she deserved that, but she had found favour in the eyes of the Lord. Now, much has been made of Mary. Some have elevated her to the level of a god. Others have tried to diminish her role completely. But just a few verses later in this chapter of Luke, we see Elizabeth, the mother of John the Baptist, calling her the mother of my Lord. See, whatever we think about Mary, that alone makes her worthy of honour. Whatever 
your position. You come from God. And God looked down on her. And she found favour in God's eyes. Now, we aren't told why she found this favour. And in that unknowing, we recognise that God can bestow favour on whoever God chooses. God knew she would be a willing participant in bringing God's son to the earth as an infant. And that tells us that God is looking for those who are open to being used by God. See, there was nothing special about Mary. In fact, she came from Nazareth, who were the hillbillies of Israel. They talked with a funny accent. It was Mary's humility that made her a willing vessel. God often takes those who are least likely to succeed and uses them to accomplish miraculous things. See, isn't that a wonderful thing to hear? As we approach Advent Sunday this week, hearing again that not only was a young girl in Nazareth chosen by God, but she found favour in God's eyes. She had a destiny and she found favour. And we too have a destiny in God and we find favour in God's eyes through Jesus in our hearts. And look what happened to Mary. I wonder what your calling is today. Amen. And so as we finish this morning, I'm going to finish with the prayer of the day from the Church of England. And then you may wish to join me with the words of the Lord's Prayer. Eternal Father, whose Son, Jesus Christ, ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King. Keep the church in the unity of the spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet. He is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And we say together, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So I hope you have a good day. Uh, on Wednesday, it's our quiz night again. So do join us for that if you're able to. And if you need the link, uh, then email it me. Uh, email me at sentansvicar at hotmail.com and I'll send that through to you. But for now, the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen. Have a good day. You that are blessed, who have a destiny, and who are favoured. <laughs>